How to create members only page in Wix. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create members only page in Wix. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is basically open your browser and kindly go to Wix.com. And if you haven't signed up for Wix yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Wix, it is an all-in-one website building platform that enables users to create professional-looking websites without needing to have advanced technical skills or knowledge of coding, in which it provides a user-friendly interface and a variety of tools to design, customize, and manage website for individuals, businesses, online stores, and many more. And some of the features it provides including website builder, templates, customization, mobile responsiveness, app market, and many more. And now, to access this platform, you can check the pricing plan that they offer. And if you want to get started for free, can you click this Get Started button on the top right corner. And all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information to sign in. And you will be directed on this dashboard of Wix, wherein you will see here a variety of options that you can navigate on the website panel. However, under the home page, if you click the Design Site, button right here, you'll be able to start customizing your website. Or if you want to create a new one, just click these three dots right here, or Site Actions, and which upon clicking on it, it will show you a sub-option and just click Create New Site. And after that, you can choose to create a site from scratch or using a template. So if you choose a template, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you a variety of template that you can use to start customizing a website. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. So can you proceed by clicking this edit button right here and you will be directed on this page. And from here to start customizing this website, you can use the editing tools on the left side panel of it. And as you can see here under the page, we have a variety of pages such as home, about, search results, and many more. So now the first thing that we need to do is to simply click this pages and menu in order to add a blank page and just click below here the button Add Page. Then proceed by clicking this blank page option or button right here. And upon clicking on it, it will show you below here that the blank page has now been added. And aside from that, you can even customize the name of the page. So let's say I'm going to enter here Members. Then proceed by clicking Done. And after that, we can now start customizing or adding elements on our page. So to start creating a Members Only page, you also need to use on the left side panel option, which is Add Elements. By simply clicking on it, all you need to do is to scroll down until you find below the option Community. So kind of click on it and just proceed by clicking this Members and Add to Site. And upon clicking Add to Site button right here, and you can see that it has now been loading and all you need to do is wait for it to load or configure and after that, if you scroll down below here, it will show you that we have now added the members area. And below here, it will show you some of the fields it included on this area. And if you want to customize those fields, kindly click this Manage Fields button right here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And below here, under Customize Info Fields, you will see here that we only contain three fields under the member area. And also, if you want to hide a specific fields from here, just click the three dots and click the hide button. But if you want to add more fields, kindly click this button below, and it will show you a pop-up window in which all you need to do is to select a fields that you prefer. You have here address, birthday, company, and many more. But if you want to add custom field, kindly click add custom field button. And from here, all you need to do is to fill out the field name, the field privacy, which is private, and also the field type. So let's say I'm going to enter here the field name age. Well, the field privacy is default to private. And also, under the field type, I'm going to select here number. Then after that, just click the save button to save the changes. And it will show you that the field of age has now been added. And you can even drag it down or up if you want to change the structure or the arrangement of the field. And as you can see, we have here first name, last name, age, and phone. But let's say I'm going to hide the field phone. And after that, I'm just also going to add more fields. But this time, 
I'm going to select the available builds right here, which is position. So kind of click this add button. And after that, it will show you below here that the position build has now been added. And on the right side panel, it will show you the preview of what the customers or the visitors will see under the member name. And now that we are done customizing the fields, let's click this X to close this window. And going back in here, it will show you that the field has now been changed. And aside from manage fields, you can even navigate settings option or button right here by simply clicking on it. It will show you a variety of options or details that you can even customize, including the text, layout, design, and also support. And starting from text from here, it will show you the subtitle of your area members, the titles of this page, and also the main button. However, I'm just going to stick with it and I'm going to move on under this layout option. In which from here, it will show you that you can even navigate the alignment of the text if you want to make it on the left, center, or right. And aside from that, below that option, you can even adjust the space between rows by moving this slider to left or right, and also adjust the space between columns. And aside from layout, you can even customize under the design the style of the text, button style, input style, dividers, and backgrounds and borders. Now let's start customizing the text style. So I'm going to click on it, and below here it will show you the page title, subtitle, section description, in which Right here, you can even change the color of it. And as you can see, I've just changed the color of the title of this page. And you could also do the same thing to change the color of subtitle, section description, and many more. But in terms of text styles, I'm just going to stick with it since it is way more clean and also pleasing to the eye. And aside from text style, you could also customize under the design the button style by simply clicking on it. From here, you can start customizing the button font, the opacity and color. So for instance, I'm going to change the color of the button into this color blue. And upon changing the color button, it will show you automatically the changes. Now aside from button styles, you could also customize here this input style in which you could also change or customize the border style. We have here all side, bottom, and you could also adjust the border opacity and color, fill the color and opacity, and many more. So for instance, I'm going to change the fill color and opacity into this color gray. And aside from that, you could also navigate the dividers in which you can customize these dividers by simply changing the divider opacity and color and also the divider width. And now for the last option, which is the support Below here, if you have a question, you can send the email or also contact the customer care. And now, if you are now done customizing the fields, text, layout, design, to save the changes, kindly click the save button on the top right corner or even the publish button. And as you can see, here are the results of the members only page that we have been created. So that is just basically how you can create members only page in Wix. Thank you.